We believe this new virus spreads mostly from person to person through respiratory droplets produced when someone who is sick coughs or sneezes. This is similar to how flu and other respiratory illnesses spread. These droplets can land in the mouth or nose of people nearby, or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Most person-to-person -person spread happens when people are in close contact. It's also possible that this virus can spread when someone touches a contaminated surface and then touches the mouth, nose, or eyes. The best way to protect yourself from 2019 novel coronavirus is to avoid being exposed to the virus. Additionally, there are preventative actions that you can take to protect yourself and your family from the spread of respiratory viruses that can make you sick. These include stay home if you're sick, cover your cough, and wash your hands. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Butler, Deputy Director for Infectious Diseases at CDC. I'd like to talk to you about the new virus that causes the disease COVID-19. Older adults and people who have severe chronic medical conditions like heart, lung, or kidney disease, or diabetes may be at higher risk for severe illness from COVID-19. If you are one of the people at increased risk for serious COVID-19 illness, it's especially important for you to take action to reduce the risk of getting COVID-19 now. The first thing you can do is take care of your own health. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol if soap and water are not available. Cover your coughs or sneezes with a tissue or cough or sneeze into your elbow, not your hands. Avoid contact with people who are sick. Clean and disinfect surfaces in your home, such as counters, tabletops, and doorknobs to remove germs. Use household cleaning sprays or wipes according to the label instructions. The next thing you can do is make a plan for what to do if you do get sick. Know who will take care of you if your caregiver gets sick. Talk to your health care provider about getting extra necessary medications to have on hand. Get enough supplies, too, including enough household items and groceries so you can stay home for a few weeks if you have to. The third thing you can do is pay attention to what's happening locally. If COVID-19 is spreading in your community, stay home as much as possible and avoid crowds. If you get sick with fever, cough, or shortness of breath, Call your health care provider. If you develop warning signs, such as difficulty breathing, persistent pain or pressure in your chest, confusion, or blueness of the lips or face, these may be signs of serious illness. Call 911. For more information and the latest resources, please visit cdc.gov COVID-19 or call 1-800-CDC-INFO. That's 1-800-232-4636. The virus that causes coronavirus disease is spreading in some of our communities. This disease, also known as COVID-19, is thought to spread mainly from person to person through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can spread to the mouth, nose, or hands of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Take steps to lower your risk of getting sick. Here are some things you should do. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. You can also use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Take extra measures to put distance between yourself and others. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay home if you're sick, except to get medical care. If you have severe symptoms, please call 911. Cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue or the inside of your elbow. Only wear a face mask if you're sick and around other people or if you need to take care of someone who is sick. 
clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. Older adults and people who have severe chronic medical conditions like heart or lung disease or diabetes are at higher risk for more serious illness from COVID-19. This group should consult with their healthcare provider about additional steps to stay protected. For more information on COVID-19, please visit cdc.gov COVID-19. Let's work together to protect ourselves, our families, and our communities. Here are the top 10 things you can do if you think you might have coronavirus or COVID-19. One, stay home. Two, monitor your symptoms carefully. If they worsen, call your healthcare provider. Three, rest and stay hydrated. Four, if you have a medical appointment, call ahead and let them know you may have COVID-19. Five, if your symptoms are severe, call 911. Six, cover your cough and sneezes. Seven, wash your hands often. Eight, stay away from others in your home. Use a separate bathroom. Nine, avoid sharing personal items. And 10, clean all surfaces that are touched often. For more information on COVID-19, visit cdc.gov COVID-19. Let's take care of ourselves and each other.